and we'll say I'm not a reader. Who is this person? Which app is this that gives the different translations of the different Bibles and uh... uh, to submit their will to the will of God? All the prophets and messengers they did this. What happens after their death or after they being taken or or after their disappearance? People they start changing, like the Jews. God has sent them Moses, peace be upon him. He left them for 40 days. He, he came back, he found them worshipping the idol. Yeah, or an idol. Yeah. That shows, as soon as the prophets goes away from the people, the people, they will go astray. So that's why, while Jesus, peace be upon him, was amongst them, they were believers. They followed him, his disciples they were believers, no problem. But what happened as soon as he died, and then when Paul get involved, where he used to be a, a bounty hunter, and he used to actually hunt Christians, believers. He used to hunt them and give them to the to be crucified. And then suddenly, this criminal, this bounty hunter, suddenly said, God inspired me, give me some revelation. And then, because he found out that this faith cannot be destroyed except from within it. You cannot destroy it from outside. So because the message spread it, so he said, instead of doing this, let's impose something to it. And instead of considering Jesus to be a prophet, no, let's consider to be, let, let's, let them consider to be part of the God. So that's why he was binarian, actually. He wasn't, he wasn't Trinitarian. And that's basically this, he imposed this to the people. The people who have accepted this, they, were, they get along, he left them. The one who didn't accept them, basically, he kept surrendering them to the, you know, to the Roman Empire. That's how he are. That tells you something, my friend. Well, this machine that God gave us, like you say, I, for now, I, I, I don't have much I will say. I've been reading the Bible, and I'm going to read the Quran, and the, the, I use the knowledge, the knowledge I'll get from you, like, the talk of wisdom, understanding. I want to understand, like, I, I won't say yes to you, I won't say yes to them, but I But you definitely, say, you say no to them. Definitely. <laughs> if, if I can prove it, like, no. Like, if I ask you a question when I come back, if, after reading this, if you answer me, good. If they can't answer me, then... My friend, let me tell you something. The message of Quran, I could summarize it to you in this salam. يا سيدي احنا بنحاول نوزعها لغير المسلمين حتى نعمل دعوة بس اذا حبيت تفضل اذا حبيت تفضل look at this the whole Quran is summarized in this in this chapter and Allah means the one God by the way is basically this what Jesus said what Jesus did what Jesus speak what was his language Aramaic or Hebrew, yeah? Hebrew. Hebrew is Elohim. Yeah? yeah Elohim. And, and Aramaic, El, El, Allah. When I say El Shaddai. No, Elohim. They generally will use Elohim. Or they will use as well Aramaic. Like they say God has so many names. Is, uh, yeah. God has many names. Allah. Allah or Allah in Aramaic. So the point is, Allah means the one God, yeah? Yeah. Here. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful. The one whose his mercy encompasses all his creation. The special mercy. The one who is encompassing his believers with his mercy. All praise due to Allah, the Lord of the world. Now you are introducing, you wanted to, when you want to address a king or someone with a status, stop praising this. Yeah? So you praise. All praise due to Allah, the Lord of the world. Yeah? The entirely merciful. The specially merciful. And as well, the sovereign, the king, the owner, the king and the owner of the day of recompense, the day of judgment. In that day, there will be no ownership. There is no sovereign, sovereignty except the sovereignty of God. That's how it is. On that day, no one has ownership. No one has kingship except God. So here, you are addressing God about his mightiness. Yeah? yeah? Now, you are addressing now your relation with this God. What is your relation with God? It is you. We worship. So, you worship this God. Worship God yes. And it is you, only you. We ask for help. 
So no one, no Jesus, no Muhammad, no one. It's be upon all of them. We ask for help from God. Now, after that, what is now here at this point? God will ask you, what does my servants want from me? What do you want from me, from him? Now, here, this is what you want. Guide us to the straight path. You want God to guide you to the straight path. That is the aim, to guide you to the straight path. Which path? The path of those, the path of those upon whom you have bestowed your favor. Meaning those ones who, who have favored them by believing in you, the prophets and messengers of God, the truthful people, the pious people. You want that path. You don't want the path. The path of Abraham. The path of Abraham, the path of Moses, the path of Jesus, the path of Muhammad, the path of Noah, the path of all the prophets and messengers. That's the that's path. Not the path of those whom you have earned, whom uh, the path of those who have earned your anger. Like who? Like some of the Jews or the Jews in the past. God told them something and they would do something else. Yeah? And all those who went astray or who are astray, not the path of those who went astray, like the Christian. God is telling them, you know, he sent Jesus and instead of worshiping, God is worshiping Jesus. Those who went astray. So you want God to guide you to the straight path. Yes. And that is the meaning of Islam. Good. I love this introduction. You know, this introduction, it gets me to the point of where it's the beginning. It's the same God the Bible talks of. And now, it, in the Revelation, it all ends like the Quran is showing that there is the judgment day. Yes. Yes. The Bible too talks of a judgment day. Now, this difference that we were talking came up to me. It's like, the Bible says no one goes to the Lord except through him, Jesus. That's, that's, okay. that's, you need to believe in Jesus before you can see God. Let me tell you something. It's this is big. Similar to this, like, I will tell you. Part of the, the, this of is the big. This is big. Because some people, they wanted to use, they use this verse to say Jesus is divine, is God, is part of God. But actually, no one, no one can go to heaven or no one can go to paradise, basically, except those who believe in all the prophets and messengers. Anyone who disbelieves in any of the prophets and messengers is not a believer. This, this, this believer is going to go to hellfire. Now you say something, like, I understand, I agree. That's why any Muslim who doesn't accept Jesus to be a prophet and messenger of God is not a Muslim. Not a Muslim. Anyone, Jesus, okay. anyone who doesn't accept Moses to be a prophet and messenger of God is not a Muslim. Thank you. Anyone who doesn't accept Abraham to be a prophet and messenger of God is not a Muslim. Yes. Now it's you now here. Yes. It's you like you read the Muhammad. Bible and you say you accept Jesus, but you don't believe that, that there was Moses. Yes. Yes. It's like something that's like how that. it is. But that's why in the Quran, Talking about all of these prophets and messengers, we have to accept them, but we don't give them above their status. We don't worship them. We don't belittle their status as we didn't say they are no one. We say they are prophets and messengers. We honor them. We respect them. We follow them. But we don't worship. Them. Oh, your message is new to me. I like I've not had your Muslim teaching before, but now I think I, I'm, I'm interested in knowing. Do you accept what I told well, I'm you? Like, I that means you're Muslim, my brother. That means you're Muslim. The only thing that makes you to become officially Muslim is to testify. There is no one worthy to be worshipped except Allah, means the one God. And to testify that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his prophet and messenger of God. That is the key thing for you to become officially Muslim. That makes it a choice now. You, you choose if you want to accept or you don't want to accept. There is no compulsion in Islam. Okay. So that's why it is you to choose but we have to encourage you yes. to tell you if this is the truth that means you belong to islam you don't belong to christian and belonging to islam you have to say the testimony the testimony of faith the shahada and this is in this testimony you testify there is only one way that you worship which is allah the one god the creator of the heaven and earth and the prophet muhammad peace be upon him is his prophet and messenger that is the key thing for you to become officially Muslim. That's why we are inviting you to Islam, my friend. You are close to Islam. You belong to Islam. Why don't you accept Muhammad? And actually, I will give you some glad tidings today. The Prophet, peace be upon him, Muhammad, وسلم, he told us that the one who believes in his Prophet, Jesus or Moses, and believed in me, he will have his reward twice. You will be rewarded twice. The second glad tiding for you, that 
the Prophet, peace be upon him, he said, anyone who embraces Islam, that all his previous sins is wiped, will be wiped. He will be like a newborn baby. So basically in Islam, are you Muslim? We give it to non-Muslims to give da'wah for them. Yeah, we try to. So, and anyone who embraces Islam, all his previous sin will be what? Will be like a newborn baby with no sin. So you'll be the best Muslims walk, walk, walking on earth. But you need to maintain this. This thing kills you. This faith came from God. It didn't come from anyone else. Do you accept this, my brother? I accepted Jesus already, so I won't say I accept him. Um, I, 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 I want to differentiate like I accept Islam or I accept Muhammad. Right basically, now. Islam. Yeah. Islam. Basically, the meaning of Islam is the religion of all the prophets and messengers. That's the meaning. Islam means submitting to God. All the prophets and messengers they submitted to God. All of them they said the same, pretty much the same. Thing. I would say I, I would like to say. It never implies Islam and Christian is the same like when you go into Christian, you have Catholic, you have priests, you have uh, the other churches. Now, it's like a choice now. Do you accept a Catholic? Do you accept to be a Catholic or do you accept to be Protestant? a Protestant? Yes, a uh, Baptist. It's the same kind of choice now that my, my, my friend is there. So no, there's a contradiction actually, amongst all of it in general. That's why actually it's contradiction because the contradiction starts from the Bible itself. The Bible has lots of flaws nowadays. The Bible is not the same as the original text. So the Bible contradicts itself. That's what you. Yes, saying. the Bible is not the same. The same one which was revealed upon the gospel, which was revealed the Injil, which was revealed upon Jesus, which is not the same. I would love to go study your Quran and I'll come back to you. My my advice it's to English, you. Right? It's so English, right? It's English. It's English. That's why I came. That's why I came for it. It's English. My point is to you, my friend. If you accepted certain what i told you today for example that you what we said about the concept what you of said is, what you said i accepted now saying do you accept uh you need to give that confession like same with the christians they do say this thing that you don't need to confess you, you, you don't need to go Jesus? to confess that your sins is between you and, and god you need to repent between you and god i don't have to know about it it's just only you need to say a testimony of faith that to testify that you are a Muslim, what is to the declare. Yes, what is the importance of this testimony of faith? Because Christians who have their own testimony of faith, like, I believe in Jesus, uh, come into my heart, Jesus, and take control You don't me. have to say it all the time. Good. It's so, only it's only basically you declare and you identify yourself as a Muslim rather than to identify yourself as a Christian. Basically, after this, you will, you will know where you belong. You belong to Islam and you are a Muslim if you accepted this. So it's a transition from uh, uh, from Christianity to Islam, it actually is not a is not a conversion rather than to be a reversion to Islam, because you you were born as a Muslim, you when you were born you didn't know you know there is one God that's how you born you born with that you're inclined to believe in this one God it didn't come to I your like mind. I do the studies of Christianity and and and, and, and the I like to study the Bible and the Quran then I know then I I think I will know what to accept like not under like I feel like let me say yes to you now okay because you told me something. I said it's true, then I want to say yes to you. So please, you then I go back. I don't pray, I don't do, I don't live there. No problem, you have the time. But my point is to you again, there is a few points. Yeah. Now, for example, one of the things that proves that this book, that this book came from God, one of the one of the main things, maybe you studied the Bible, yes? Yes, I'm studying the Bible. Okay, what was the name of the king at the time of Moses in Egypt? What was his title? Pharaoh. Okay, what was the king title? in Egypt at the time of Joseph. In Egypt. In Egypt. I don't remember. Same, same Pharaoh. Same Pharaoh. The so one, Pharaoh. The Joseph that slept that was being accused of stealing yeah, the wife Yes, of yes. Pharaoh. Basic, not, not the wife of the, of the minister of Pharaoh, but they yeah. used to be Pharaoh there. Okay. So there is Pharaoh there. Yes. Pharaoh in, during Joseph's time, Pharaoh during Moses' time, Pharaoh there, Pharaoh here, Pharaoh everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Even though there is nearly a thousand year gap between both Pharaohs. Yeah. Yes. Which yes. means yes. it's a title. Yes. Now, in Islam, in the Quran, God, you'll find the story of Moses as soon as in the second chapter of the Quran when you read, you'll find the story of Moses scattered around the Quran, talking about. You know, uh, basically talking about Moses and Pharaoh, Pharaoh and Moses, Moses and Haron and, and Pharaoh and their struggle, etc. No problem. But we have one single chapter of the Quran, it's called the chapter of Joseph. Yeah. This chapter talking about 
Joseph specifically, talking about his story when he was when he was when he was young man, when he was young boy, and when he was enslaved, etc., and then took to the Al Aziz, which is the the, the minister during uh, during the the king that time. But uniquely talking about Joseph and the king, king and Joseph, never talk about Pharaoh. Talking about a king, specifically a king. Now, in the past, some of the Christians, some of the Jews came to us. They said, your Quran got it wrong, actually, because they have to be Pharaoh. It has to be Pharaoh. Why you call it other than Pharaoh? Why you call it this? Why you call it king? We said, since this book came from God, we believe it's the truth. So we keep it as it is. Until recently, they discovered a stone, which is 150 years or something. They call it Risotto Stone. Have you heard about it? You could Google. Basically, they found in Egypt a risotto stone by German, you know, guy, and then they found this risotto stone translate actually old hieroglyphic language, hieroglyphic language, into old Greek language into Latin. Yeah, that's why. And later on, one of the English as well researchers, etc., they discovered they dismantled actually the hieroglyphic language, which is the yeah, language yeah, of Egypt. We have some lots of points because languages have been changed from the Jesus time to, uh, to this language yeah. we are speaking now. Yeah. And the words like... It yeah, that's exa exactly. It exactly. something, but it means something else. Yes, exactly. My point is that they, they found out what are the key points about the old hieroglyphic language, and then they start, you know, interpreting what is written on the monuments, what is written on the pyramids, what's written in the scripture, what they found. They found what is written there, basically. Yeah? They discovered, and then they start going into searching about what is being written. And then they said, yes, actually, the title of the king at the time of Moses is Pharaoh, no problem. But it is impossible for the for the king at the time of Joseph to be called Pharaoh. Why? Because during that time, Hexos, which is a Mediterranean reign, which ruled basically they ruled, you know, a portion of um, of Greece and 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 um, and Palestine and this area, and they took over Egypt and they ruled for centuries there. And those reign. Those basically uh, kings, they never used the title Pharaoh. They were kings. Just like when the king of England, when they ruled Egypt at certain point, they didn't call him Pharaoh. The president of Egypt, he's not Pharaoh now there. He's, he's a president, correct? So they never used the title Pharaoh. So actually, it is a historical error to call the king at the time of Joseph to be Pharaoh. And that is what is mentioned in the Bible. The question is, who taught Muhammad, peace be upon him, who is illiterate man, unable to read and write, and unable to read and write Arabic, let alone to read and write other languages, who taught him about fact in Egypt, where he never been to Egypt, never saw anything in Egypt, and yet, who taught him about this fact? Which a fact. It's not something, it's not... Do we have Muhammad in the Bible? There is. There is Muhammad in the Bible. Right? There is about there was, him. There was Jesus in the, in the Quran. But now there I'm, is. I've never asked him. There is. Muhammad Actually, the they said. I want to said, find Muhammad in the Bible. They said as well, if you, if you read the, in, in some of the places, they call the all praised one, the all loved one. And actually, that's in, in Hebrew, it's Muhammadim. Yeah, means the all praised one. Language is a problem. Language yeah, and actually, they they they, they, they ask they us. ask a Jewish rabbi. Yeah, they ask a Jewish rabbi. One second. Yeah, one second. Let me just do something here. They ask a Jewish rabbi. They ask a Jewish rabbi actually to read, yeah, to read this.
محمد in Hebrew so not just that yeah which is the song of Solomon yeah I think I'm just just getting some yes, videos no, I wish to know because I'll go read my Bible again I want to find out Muhammad in the Bible I want and to see as well contradictions between Christian and Muslim. so that's why I'm, I'm just studying this Quran right now adding to this do you know they said as well in the Old Testament they found as well about let the land of Kaidar let let the people of Kaidar rejoice let the land of Selah rejoice by the coming of someone now the question is what is Kaidar which is in the Old Testament who is Kaidar and what is the land of Selah what's that you read the Old Testament, yeah? yeah. Did you come across Kaidar? And the... I haven't identified him as in life. I is now that I will have to go and read my Bible now more. Do Before know, reading the Bible, with, I'm with, just with, with this guidance, with these points, I'm asking you. Then I'll come back to you. What well, I will show I, you. I'm not here to contradict you or contradict myself. I just want to. I just want to learn. We all wanted to learn, my friend. Yeah. Here, look at it. Let the wilderness in this town and their voices in the settlement, in the settlement where Kaida, Kaida lives, rejoice. Let the people of Sela sing the joy. Let them shout from the mountains. Talking about who? Now here. Yeah. Talking about who? Let them give the glory to the Lord. Yeah, and proclaim His praise in the islands. Okay. Now after that, the Lord, yeah, will march out like a champion. Yeah, like a warrior. He will stir up his zeal. Yeah, and with and with the shout, he will raise in the battle cry and will trump yeah over triumph his enemies. Trump over his enemies. enemies is that jesus that's jesus jesus did jesus is jesus is a warrior jesus yes when he when he was entering into the uh on the did, donkey the the child from entry did he fight he did not fight no listen listen I here like him him down no, no, no. was the battle raise in the battle now listen yeah. to this Meaning, God is saying they're gonna be someone. They're gonna be yeah. someone. This someone is a warrior. This someone is a warrior, and this someone is related to the town of Kidar. Yeah. Who's Kidar? Where is Salah? Who is who is who? Which is which? What's going on? So how do I get to understand what Kedar is and what Sela is? I will tell you. Kedar is basically is the the first or the second son of Ishmael. His name is Kedar. Ishmael. You know the two sons of Abraham? He has two sons? Yes. Uh, Isaac? Isaac and Ishmael. And Ishmael. The son of the, well, the concubine. The concubine. Yeah. What did he do with the concubine? He left her where? In a desert, somewhere in, in a desert. desert. In the wilderness, yes. In the wilderness. With a child, yes. yes, with a child. And then the promise that came from Abraham. Exactly. From and then that child, Ashmael, he was married and he had children. One of his sons, uh, his name is Kaidar. And Kaidar basically is the greatest is the, is the greatest grandfather of a Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Basically, because he's an Ishmaelite. He's from the children, descendants of Ishmael. And is basically he's the descendants of Kaida, which is they are called the people of Quraysh. They settled in Mecca, Mecca, yeah, nowadays. So they settled in Mecca. The descendants of Ishmael settled in Mecca. And then there is another city which is nearly five hours drive from Mecca called Medina, 
and it is known with the mountain called Mountain of Sala. Mountain of Sala. And the people there, they are not Kedari people. They are not from the descendants of Ishmael. The other people, Arabs, but different tribes. They are not from the tribes of the Kedari people at all. Now, what is the link between that town and the people of Kaidar? Basically, our Prophet, peace be upon him, when he was calling to Islam, his own people kicked him out from his town, and then he migrated from Mecca to Medina, to Yathrib, to the land of Salah, and he stayed there. Then, then he implemented, he made his state, peace be upon him, and then later on, he fought actually his enemy. So and he was he the one that did the fighting, as you have seen. Now. Exactly. He is the one that God said that a one will come. And he is the all praised one, Muhammad, peace be upon him. Okay, so therefore, he is the praised Bible, one. But Not the all praised, sorry. There's the a praise. history story now, which I, I, I'm a missionary, a Christian missionary, and I'm, I'm tracing lots of things where this, this, this division came from. Yes, and I can't do it without understanding you, a Muslim, or without knowing me myself as a Christian, not just like I believe in God, or I believe in Jesus. Basically, that tells you, people. that tells you the only link between these two, the, the land, the land of Kaidar, or, or the people of Kaidar, yeah. and the land of Salah, the only link between them throughout the history is Muhammad, peace be upon him. Because he migrated from Mecca to Medina and he settled there. He made his own town, his own country, his own, you could say, uh, kingdom, basically in Salah, where he is a Kidari, a Kidari person. And then that's why, and he fought, he was a warrior. He defeated his enemies and he took over the Arab Peninsula. Peace be upon him. He was a warrior. That was Muhammad, peace be upon him. The one who was given the book and he was told, read, and he will say, I'm not a reader. Who is this? The one who's be given the book, who will be said to him, read, and he will be say, I'm not a reader. Who is this? Brother, brother. Yeah? Salam. Salam. <laughs> الحمد لله يا سيدي الله يا رب هذه كلها الحمد لله من لباس العرب اللي انا افتخر فيه جزاك الله خير امين الله يبارك فيك جزاك الله خير اكرمك الله سو هو از ذيس بيرسون ذا ون هو از جيفن ذا بوك هو ويل بي سيت تو هيم ريد اند هو ويل بي سي ام لا تريد هو از ذيس بيرسون محمد نوري ها محمد نوري اي جو now, you know, in the Bible mentioned, the one will be given the book. They say to him, read. He'll be saying, I'm not a reader. Did you hear about that before? No. Something baffles me when they say love, Jesus is love, Muhammad, you say is love, then uh, they, they, you see contact yeah. with love. Or if you give the scrolls to someone who cannot read and say, read this, please, will answer, I don't know how to read. And by the way, when you give them to that, to say, and they, they kind of say, he will say, I'm not a reader or I cannot read. Yeah? So who is this to give the scroll and hand it to unable to read and will say, I cannot read and will say, I'm not a reader. Who is this person? Which app is this that gives you the different chance of the different Bibles and... Uh, With different Bibles, you see here? Yes, that's what I'll, I like to know that. Here, then the book is given to, to the one who, who does, does not, not know, know how, how to read the book, the book saying, saying read please read this. And he will say, he will say I, do not know. I do not read. How do you, no? what, what, this is, uh, how do, I mean, the, the, the app, this is Bible... Yeah, Bible, Bible, Bible Hub. Hub. Yeah? Hub. Okay, yeah, mind this, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I wanted you to read here.
That they might seek the Lord, if happily they might fear after him and find him, thus he be not far from them. Acts 17, 27, 28. It's God we seek. It's God we seek. And the Bible says no one goes to the Lord except you believe in Jesus. Now why Muslims talk now, about... No you see here, in the same as well in the beginning of the revelation, Angel Gabriel came to Muhammad, peace be upon him, when he was he went to the mountains, he was looking for the truth. He said, Who is my Lord? What's I'm doing here? etc. And then Angel Gabriel came to him and he said to him, he brought him the scroll, told him, Read. He said, I'm not a reader. So to him, read. I'm not a reader. Three times. And each time we squeeze him, we'll relieve him, we say to him, read, he'll say, I'm not a reader. You see here, in the history, this this incident happened to only one single person which is Muhammad peace be upon him. Now what does that tell you my friend? Was Muhammad a prophet sent by God? He's a prophet sent by God. That, that now I won't deny because you have shown me Muhammad in the Bible. Though the name is, is called something else, now I see I have a problem of, of translation. A problem of, if there's a, problem of, a big problem of language. Yes, because Basically, well, you don't because, have you don't have the original it, Bible, basically, yes, in the it, original language. Yes, I will need them. Like I will need the Quran. I you, need everything. You, to, you don't I have. I want to do this personal you know, the, 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 the good thing, the good thing, the Quran. The good thing, the Quran. You will find it in the original language, in Arabic language. We give you the translation. It's the you, word of God, right? This so one. Word of God. This one is a translation word of God. It's the word of God. Yeah. So we don't say to you. We don't say to you this is the word of God. We say to you this is translation of the word of God. Yeah, that's why it's called here. Yeah, basically yeah. this is the language. If you want to study the Quran properly, if you want to read the Quran, we encourage Muslims to learn Arabic, to read it how it was revealed upon the Prophet, peace be upon him. That is the key. And the Bible itself was not originally written in English. So if maybe if, you want to, if I want to read the Bible, I need to study what language? There is no it. single language. La there is no single book or Hebrew? no single pa patches about the New Testament written in the, in the original form when Jesus said it at all they found 100 and something years after jesus they found and is written in greek did jesus speak greek did he speak greek he didn't speak greek even so it's written in greek some patches and they found as well the the dead sea scrolls which is in in, in hebrew which is about the old testament some of it yeah uh -huh. but the new testament how jesus when Jesus, what the meaning the in jail means the good news where is the good news of Jesus? In his own language, in his own words. Nothing. Do you know what it means by the good news? When they say, when Christians talk of the good news. I know what it means. What That's not my, my point is, my point is, this is the good news which is news from God. No problem. My point is to you. Yeah? Where is it? If the good news is the best. The life, the death, and the resurrection of Jesus. Christ. Actually, most of the New Testament is about stories. It's about stories about okay, Jesus. Stories, you call it stories. So, so, okay. If you read it, it's a story about Jesus, some of it. Story about his disciples. Story about certain things. It's very little about the words of Jesus. Very little. The words of Jesus. And not in its original form. Well, I have no problem with most things because it's between the Christians. They contradicted themselves like why why Catholic, why Apostolic, why Presbyterian, why Baptist, why why Muslims? So I don't Muslims you have different like different Muslim churches like we have we have we have of course there is no the prophet peace be upon him told us fourteen hundred years ago. Jews Jews divided into seventy one sects. Okay. And Christian divided into seventy two sects. And my nation, my people, they're gonna be divided into seventy three sects. All of them, they're going to go to hellfire except one. They say, which one, Messenger of Allah? He said, what I am upon it today and my companions, which is the true faith of God. So there are some sects you will find among Muslims. That's, that's something I'm not... Uh, well, I'm not well we do not judge. I don't, I don't judge. But that's why them. we encourage you to read the Quran, 
We encourage you to read the authentic sunnah, the authentic hadith, which is said by the Prophet, peace be upon him, or done by the Prophet, peace be upon him. That is the key thing to understand Islam, not, rather than the saying of the people. That's how it is. It's all right. Let me go in my Quran. I'll come, I'll, I'll look Since you said me. Muhammad is a prophet, that means you're Muslim. Why don't you accept Islam? Then? Because because I accepted Jesus already. I won't accept I won't accept Jesus. Then I renounce Jesus here yeah, because you're you not renouncing. Who told you you're renouncing Jesus? Why should I accept? Um, why should I? Who told you are telling me to renounce? No, okay, Jesus, I'm renouncing Where, Jesus. But if you renounce Jesus, you're not you're renouncing, you're renouncing like Islam. Two, it feels like two different authorities. No. Both of them, they came from one point. So let me go with the Quran. And I but the what, what we, t we tell you to renounce the Trinity, yes. Okay. But we don't tell you to renounce this. No, it's a totally different thing. If you came here to renounce the Trinity, I won't say no to you because Christians themselves, they renounce the Trinity. Like Good. some say, yes, that I means, believe in the that means Father, you the Son, Islam. and the Holy Spirit. Some say no, we don't believe like what is that means Spirit, you what is. That means you belong to Islam, basically. And Jesus, in the Bible, when he died, he said he was going to send the Holy Spirit to come and be our comforter. Who said that? The Bible says so. The Bible is the word of God. Which one? Which Bible? Like the first King James, the one I have on my phone. On okay, my phone, good. Right? King James. Yes. Good. Is King James a copy from the Catholic Bible? Now, those are those are um, educational details that I need to go and study as a scholar to answer those kind of things. Yeah, and where, did that's this, why where did this come from? Was, and, 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 and as well, that's why there is, you know, in the Bible, it's totally it's corrupted throughout the time. Yes? I would say no. Yes, yes. Quran, I don't know if it's corrupted or not. So the, I want the Quran, to, I want to study. the Quran, I want to study. the good thing is the Quran, the difference between the Quran and the Bible, that from the first stage of Islam, Quran was memorized by generation after generation, not just only written. Now, currently, while I'm talking to you, there is over than 15 million Muslims on earth memorize the Quran from cover to cover, all of it. Yeah? Hello, sorry, I'm still out there. I'm, I'm in a few, I'm enjoying one um, conversation. Yeah, I'll get back to you, please. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hayaka Allah, barakatuh. Kif al-hal, Allah. Assalamu alaikum. Allah, barakatuh. Zak Allah khair. Bas da'abatukum illa, Allah, barakatuh. Zak Allah khair. Allah, barakatuh. Allah, barakatuh. Zak Allah khair. Shubhak ala khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello. Yeah, sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. I'll get back to you when I'm about to bring you on stage. I'm in the middle of something. You want to see him? Okay. Let's have it. Thank you. you see here, my friend. Yeah? yeah. We are again. We are not telling you to renounce Jesus. We are telling you to embrace Islam, embrace Islam. and to and to believe in Jesus, peace be upon him, to be a prophet. And I embrace Islam, Allah. given that the belief in God Almighty, the Good. most, the most powerful, the Good. most merciful. And the Jesus, the and, Jesus the is and, the a, and Jesus is the prophet and messenger of God. Yes. Jesus is. Jesus is the son of God. What do you mean by son? Like David was son of like, God, Moses was son of like, God. Like, like Jesus came, came out of a prophecy from, from, um, from the, the angel. Like Mary, you're going to give birth without, without Mary having sex with the husband. Yes, that makes him, that made him, a, 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 a promised somebody. And in the Bible, from the book of Genesis, when, the, when, when Adam and Eve, they ate the food. When God came and he said that, I will, he said, who gave it? He said, it's a safer. God said, I will crush you. I will crush you. If I have to open my Bible, I'm reading from there. It was a prophecy. It was a, it was my, a war. My, my, my friend, my friend, let me tell you something. If Jesus, because he was born with no father, is a, is a son of God, what does that make Adam? Adam is the son of God. The first, the first Why don't we use the terms creation of God? Creation of God. Yes. Because God is able to create things, well, we miracles. Are creation of God. That's why, including Jesus, including but, Adam. But God is so loving. Why, why do we have to go to hell at the end of the day? God created Satan either. What? God created Satan. For a test. Because we, because with no test, how we can go to, uh, to, to uh, follow that? So there have to be a test. Correct? Okay, now you see, you see, sometimes I, I, I get now not to blame someone for calling himself a pagan. Like, you don't believe in God, or you don't believe in Muslims. No, if, if, they, did, you, you, if they didn't hear about Islam, contradictions. if they didn't hear about Islam, that is something. But if they hear about Islam and they choose to be pagan, that's their problem, problem. that's a mistake. That's why we have to approach them, we have to teach them the truth. Okay, so let me. I want. I, I want to study the tradition you're about to teach me. Right, give me time. I go study. I won't tell you I accept Muslim. No problem. Now. 
study That's and, what I'm and what I'm encouraging you, you to study. I'm coming back here for you. Yeah, come back here. And if I you will. need, if you have any question, you're welcome to ask. And I'm, I'm happy to I answer. Will. I, will. I always have questions because I can't study without having questions. All right. That's good. Okay. I wish you all the best, my brother. Okay. Look after yourself. You too. It was nice chatting with you. Pleasure. All right. Look after yourself. May Allah guide you. Alhamdulillah, my brothers and sisters. May Allah guide our, our friend here. Guide him to Islam and make him make it easy for him to accept Islam. And Alhamdulillah, that's our mission, inshallah ta'ala, to preach Islam and to convey the message of Islam to everyone, inshallah ta'ala. Jazakumullah khair, all my brothers and sisters. May Allah reward you all and bless you all. And may Allah increase us all in the Jannah. Jazakumullah khair. Subhanakallah, alhamdulillah. Nashhadu an la ilaha illa, nashhadu an la ilaha illa, nashhadu an la ilaha illa.